In this tutorial, we will be finding slope, but this time geometrically. So first, I will plot two random points. Let's plot negative 2, negative 1, and also 1, 1. Then with those two points, I will insert a line. So here we have the line. So from this line, we have to find the rise and the run. Now remember, the rise tells you how many units you go up or down. So from point A, how many units do we need to go to get to point B? If we count, one, two, three. So the rise here is three. Then, if we're running, how many units do we run to get to B? Again, from A we go one, two, three. It's nine o'clock. Then we go two units to the right. One, two. So it'll be three over two. So therefore the slope of this line is three halves. Now, if we want to look at the other way, let's look at point B. From point B, how many units do we go up or down? Well, we go down three. One, two, three. So down is a negative three but then right or left we go left by convention left is negative so it's negative three over negative two but remember negative three over negative two that just reduces to three halves so there we found the slope geometrically given this line Another example, let me just undo this. Another example, again, I will plot two random points. Let's plot the point negative 3, 2, and then plot the point 0, negative 2. And again, with those two points, I will draw a line through them. So, same thing, we need to find the rise and the run. So from point B, how many units must we go up? We need to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, the rise is 4. Then, how many units right or left? We need to go 3 units to the left left is negative so the slope is 4 over negative 3 but remember we can start from point A and ask ourselves the same question how many units do we go down or up from A well we go 1 2 3 4 so that's down 4 but remember down 4 is considered negative so we say negative 4 then from where we started one, two, three, four. How many units to get to B? One, two, three. It's right three. But four over negative three is the same as negative four over three. So therefore, no matter you go from A to B or B to A, your slope will be the same. Looking at another example. Again, let's plot two random points. Plot the point negative 3, 3, and 2, 2, and as you see, the line was already inserted for me. So now, again, we will find the slope of this line. From point A, we need to find the rise. So we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the rise is 5. Then, how many units right or left? We go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5 units to the right. But 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So if we notice, on this line, we have other points. We have a point here, a point here, 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 
and here and so on. Let's go go from C to D. You go up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. Notice the slope still continues as one over one. We have one here, but that is the same thing as saying one over one. Remember, rise over run. Let me undo this. Another example, again, plot two points, plot the point negative three, negative two, and two, three, then draw a line between them. Now here, if we notice, first it's rise. Notice we're not going up or down at all because A and B are on the same level. So here, our rise is zero. Then, if we look, how many units right or left? Well, we're going one, two, three, four, five units to the right. So, therefore, the run is five. Zero divided by five is zero. So, now, notice we have a zero slope, which is a horizontal line. So, all horizontal lines have zero slopes. One more example. Let's say we have the point negative 1, 2 and negative 1, negative 3. So again we are to find the rise and the run. Notice A is right below B or A is right above B. So how many units are we rising? Well, we're going down one, two, three, four, five. So therefore, the rise is negative five. But then, we don't go right or left at all. We can't. We're already at that point. So we're going zero right or left. Remember, dividing by zero is not possible. So we say it is undefined, which means there is no slope, but I am having you write that it is undefined. So remember, there are four cases of slope. And again, to reiterate and show you, So here is a positive slope. Notice it is rising from left to right. Left to right. So a positive goes from left to right. Left to right. Then a negative slope A negative slope falls from left to right. So here is a negative slope. So a negative slope falls from left to right. Then a line with zero slope is a completely horizontal line. So zero slope is completely horizontal. Last, a line with no slope, which we say it's an undefined slope, is a completely vertical line. So notice, we have four cases for slope. Positive slope, negative slope, zero slope, and undefined slope. And that is how you calculate slope or find slope 
geometrically on a coordinate plane.